Hey everyone, how's it going this evening? Welcome to another edition of Snapshot Sacramento this week at the theater for May 30th. Made it to the end of May. Look at that. We're almost officially into half a year and 2023 has been shaping up to be pretty good. So let's take a look at what we've got going on. As always, this is brought to you by the Sacramento Area Regional Theater Alliance. We are SARTA. And we're glad you're here. So if you have the time, visit our website, sarda.com. Check us out. If you've got theater going on in your area, you're producing, you're directing, you're working in theater, we would love to hear from you. Okay? All right. Let's see what we've got going on tonight. We've got some special events and announcements that are coming up. Sarda is very pleased to announce that we're hosting a summer series of one night events. Now tickets are already on sale for this very first one, which is going to be happening on June 11th. That's in another week. Wow, it's coming up soon, huh? Uh, at 6 p.m. over at Big Idea Theater Company. It's tonight starring this particular one will be the play called God of Carnage. And it's by Yasmina Reza. And this is one that was specifically requested and will be featuring actress Deborah Bromley and several other actors and actresses too. But this was Deborah's passion piece. So we are happy to have her as our very first tonight starring featured guest actor for this. We will be having another one in June. Well, I mean, I'm sorry, this is the one for June, right? We'll be having another one in July, another one in August, and one more in September. So we've got four of these planned for the summer. So give yourself something, just a one night only. It's a, it's a reader's theater kind of production. It's only going to happen one time. Get your tickets now. Tickets are already on sale. Go to our website. Click on the link that says Tonight Starring. You can get your tickets for this really cool event over at Big Idea Theater. We want to thank Big Idea Theater too because they are helping host this for Sarda so that we can use this as a fundraising opportunity. So, God of Carnage, make sure you get your tickets for that. The next thing we've got coming up as a special event is a paint and party dinner night of fun. That's also another fundraiser. It's community theater. Fundraising is just a constant with community theater. This one is for Free Fall Stage. They're going to be having an event on Saturday, June 17th at 6 o'clock. Uh, an evening of creativity and cuisine, as they call it, which I think is really, really cool. Um, so they're having this uh, Not Your Ordinary Paint Night. They're going to have some special uh, paint projects designed for theater lovers. And there'll be food and beverages and door prizes are included. So uh, you want to get your tickets for that. Go to the Free Fall Stage website and get your tickets for their paint party and dinner night of fun. Another one night only event. This is for the Davis Musical Theater uh, Company's Young Performers Theater. So YPT, as they call it, Young Performers Theater Showcase. 
uh, and they are presenting a production of its own uh, on June 3rd. That's coming up this weekend at 7 o'clock at the Gene Henderson Performing Arts Center over on Thena Drive. Now, the young performers are the are the we are very young ones, uh, starting at about four and five years old and going up to 10 or uh, or 12. So, one night only, they're going to have this event for us. Well, that's all of our special events and announcements, but we do have some things going on for auditions, so if you don't already have it sorted out, get those headshots and resumes together because there's going to be auditions for Matilda on May 31st and June 1st, so tomorrow and Thursday, for the McLaughlin Theater Company. They're doing Matilda the Musical, so contact them. Laughlin Theater Company and get your spot reserved for your audition for Matilda the Musical. There's also audition notices that are out right now and these are for a virtual audition. They're putting together um, a band, literally, because they're going to do School of Rock. So the virtual auditions are so that they can start getting their uh, musicians slash actors together early and the really cool thing is a little later on in our show we're going to have a community conversation with the folks from Woodland Opera House. So this is for Woodland Opera House. We'll have a chance to talk to them and they'll talk a little bit more about the excitement around this School of Rock the Musical and some of the things they're trying to do with this. Uh, so there's virtual audition submissions. The deadlines for that's going to be June 15th. So if you are a performer that also plays an instrument, this is an opportunity for you, okay? Arsenic and Old Lace is looking for uh, folks to come and audition for this. Their auditions are going to be on Saturday, June 10th at 10 a.m. and again on Sunday, June 11th. This is being produced by the State Theater Acting Company. Uh, it's going to be cold reading, so this they'll be um, you don't have to memorize anything or uh, all of that. And all the roles are available. So Arsenic and Old Lace is a wonderful, funny, dark comedy. It's great. There have been many iterations of it over the years. This one's going to be directed by Bob Cooner. And again, there's being produced by the State Theater Acting Company. So if you want to audition for this, that'll be on Saturday, June 10th, and again on Sunday, June 11th. Now, we're sharing this one again because this is for a different um, producing company. This particular audition for Matilda uh, is for Woodland Opera House. Their theater and dance annex is going to be hosting the auditions on Saturday, June 17th. So sometimes you're going to see, well, wait, didn't you just share that one? That was for McLaughlin Theater Company. If you want to do it at the Woodland Opera House, you can go and audition for them also. This is ages 11 to the rising seniors, as they call it, announcing auditions for their troupe for the cast of Matilda the Musical Junior. Well, that's all the additions we have right now. Let's take a look at what's playing currently, and then we'll take a look at some of the great things that are coming up. So, playing right now, and through June 25th will be Cabaret. This is out at Sutter Street Theater. So if you'd like to have a night of music and entertainment at the infamous Kit Kat Club, get your tickets, Sutter Street Theater for Cabaret. Brokeology is still playing through this weekend. This will be the final weekend for this show over at uh, the Sophia it's through B Street Theater Productions and tickets are available at bstreettheater.org for Brokeology. One more weekend left to get to see this great show. All right, so let's take a look at what's coming soon because we've got a lot of things coming down the pike pretty quick here. Gold Can't Love You Back. Well, never, truer words have never been uttered, huh? This is being put on by House of Fates and the Stone House uh, group. It's a Gold Rush era immersive musical experience. They're even encouraging you to come dressed in Western attire. They, it's going to start on June 1st and it's running through all of June. So get your tickets for this. Gold Can't Love You Back. House of Fates and the Stone House present this pr production. Should be great fun. Being produced at Celebration Arts is Lynn Notage's 
wonderful play by the way meet Vera Stark it's going to be directed by Nicole Lehman and it's opening this weekend June 2nd and will play through June 25th again at Celebration Arts Theater this will be a great show to go and see Lynn Notage is a Pulitzer Prize winning playwright um, just an amazing show to go and take in by the way meet Vera Stark you're a Good Man, Charlie Brown will be opening up on June 3rd. Lots of things opening this weekend, so you've got lots of choices. It will be playing through the 25th on Saturdays and Sundays at 1 o'clock at the Sutter Street Theater. So if you just want some great, wholesome fun with really fun uh, music to go with it, You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown is a show for you. Sutter Street Theater. We've got two to announce for Main Street Theater Works because they've got a couple of productions coming up. One is The Quest for Don Quixote by Mark Brown. This is going to be opening on June 16th and playing through July 15th at the Kennedy Mine Amphitheater, Main Street up in Jackson. Gates open at 6.30 and shows start at 8 o'clock. They've always got some pre-show stuff going on and you can get your drinks and snacks and all that kind of thing and pick out your seats for this wonderful production of The Quest for Don Quixote by Mark Brown. And then, coming up in August, they've got a red plaid shirt by Michael Wilmot. And this is, you know, does this shirt make me look retired? I love that. That line. It's also being performed at the Kennedy Mine Amphitheater uh, on Main Street in Jackson. Starts on August 4th on Fridays and Saturdays through September 2nd. So this is going to take you right into the fall. So we'll be reminding you of these shows that are coming up for Main Street Theater Works. Coming to Woodland Opera House, Mythology is going to meet rock and roll at the Opera House with this production of The Lightning Thief, the Percy Jackson musical. Uh, they are going to be opening on June 16th and they will be playing through June 25th. And again, we're going to have a community conversation at the end of our recap of what's coming up uh, with the folks from Woodland Opera House. So they'll have more to say about this. And it's based on that, uh, on the wonderful books that a lot of people have already read by Rick Reardon, The Lightning Thief. Performances are going to be Fridays and Saturdays at 7.30 and then Sundays at 2 o'clock. So get your tickets for Percy Jackson, the musical, The Lightning Thief. Coming to Roseville Theater Arts Academy will be Disney's production of Newsies Jr. This will be starting on June 23rd and playing through June 25th at the Roseville Theater Arts Academy. Tickets are on sale for this production, so get yours early so you can get these organized into your life and into your calendar. Um, lots of good theater coming up this summer. More good theater happening at Volcano Theater Company. This is Beowulf and the Bard. Uh, this will be starting on June 9th and play through July 8th. This is helping to celebrate their 50th anniversary of theater up here in the Volcano area. Tickets are available right now. Uh, it should be a great take on an old English classic. You probably read this book when you were in high school or junior high or something uh, as part of an English project, but never have you seen it like this. It's going to be told through the eyes of the Bard. So Beowulf and the Bard at the Volcano Theater Company. Oops. We've also got another one coming up at the amphitheater up at Volcano, Silent Sky. And it's going to be the story of a woman who in the 19, early 1900s was a scientist, which you know was a challenge as, as it stands right there. But her work she, uh, led to some scientific discoveries that had a lasting impact on the field of astronomy. So this should be a wonderful show to see. And the nice thing is it's going to be at the amphitheater in Volcano, which is out under the night sky. So you'll get to see a show about the night sky under the night sky. You should get your tickets for this because it's going to be amazing. August 11th through September 9th, and all the tickets are available right now for Silent Sky by Lauren Gunderson. Another one coming to Volcano after they're done with Silent Sky, they're going to move right into Noel Coward's Blythe Spirit. 
just something suitable for coming into the October and Halloween season. Let's have some ghosts and spirits and, and people trying to read things through crystal balls. It'll be great and it's funny. This is a classic comedy. So uh, September 15th through October 15th. Uh, once again at the historic Cobblestone Theater up in Volcano. So get your tickets. They're on sale right now for No Cowards Like Spirit. Now we've got some season schedules to share with you and we love it when theaters can give us this kind of information. It really helps you plan ahead as to what you think you might wanna see. So David's Musical Theater Company is sharing with us it's 2023-2024 musical season, 39th season of musicals. That's pretty darn impressive. So they're gonna start it off with Something Rotten, Do Oklahoma, Susical the Musical, Fiddler on the Roof, into the woods and cap off their season with the little mermaid little mermaid is really big right now if you haven't had a chance to see the movie in the theaters it's it's out right now and if you've got friends who are little mermaid fiends they're probably trying to go and see it now they do let you know that if you get the season tickets you're going to get a better deal and most theaters are like this if you can buy the season tickets yes it's going to cost you a little more up front but then you've got uh, your seats guaranteed for all the shows for the rest of the season. And you're gonna get it at a little bit of a discount. So think about doing that. When you uh, wanna support some of these community theaters, think about getting your season tickets for them uh, uh, and really show them that you wanna support them all the way through the year. Now another one, this is their 2023-2024 season, and this is their main and family series productions for the Woodland Opera House. And again, in a little bit, we're gonna have a, a community conversation with the folks from the Woodland Opera House. They've got a lot of news to share with us, but they're doing things like SpongeBob the Musical, The Addams Family, School of Rock. I mentioned that one before. They're doing the auditions for that right now. Comedy to be announced, The Descendants Musical, Damn Yankees, which is a wonderful classic, and then Peter and the Star Catcher. If so, if you're a Peter Pan f uh, fan, that would be a great one for you to see. But as you can see, there's something for everybody in their main series and family productions. Thanks, Woodland Opera House. All right, everyone. I promised you a community conversation, and we love it when we can have a chance to have our theater companies come and share with us what's going on at their theater company. They make changes sometimes. They've got new people coming in, other people going out. Some of these people we've been friends with or acquainted with through the theater community for, for years, literally. And this is one of those situations where they're gonna share some of the new and great changes. So sit back and enjoy an interview that I taped earlier this month with uh, the folks from Woodland Opera House. So give me a moment. Hi everyone and welcome to another community conversation with the Sacramento Area Regional Theater Alliance. We are SARTA and we're very happy to be here today with our friends from the Woodland Opera House, the historic Woodland Opera House. I've got Angela Balthazor and Tom Burmeister here and they've got some exciting news about some changes that are going on at the Woodland Opera House. So Angela, what's up? Well, hello and thank you so much for having us. Um, I am actually retiring. My last day at the Woodland Opera House is June 30th, and I'm so pleased to introduce our new executive director, Tom Burmester. He is no stranger to theater. He has been in the theater career for many, many years and just finished his doctorate in studies in theater. So we're so, so fortunate to have him here and to be moving forward with our theater company. So excited to have him. I'm so excited to be here. Wonderful. Welcome, Tom. It'll be yeah. nice to have you as part of our theater community here. It sounds like you come with wonderful accolades. How did you come about wanting to apply for this position at the Woodland Opera House? Well, it almost seemed like serendipity, to be honest, because I just finished my doctorate and I had been in conversation for maybe a couple of months before that, um, but I have family members who were really familiar with the opera house and let me know that they thought an opportunity might be coming up there and uh you know i was looking around for professorships and other gigs to fill the time after finishing my doctorate and uh i saw this job come up 
and you know it's a dream position uh, from my point of view it has everything so i applied and i guess the rest is history we'll see <laughs> well that's excellent well welcome welcome to that position so let people know because you know you tell people i got this great new job and it's being an executive director at a theater what <laughs> is it exactly you're going to do well, what are those job duties that's a big question <laughs> that's, that's a very it's a little bit of everything i guess um i've been telling my my kids that my brain is very happy right now because it's being fed all the time and all the different things it's a little bit of a, a buffet um so i mean you know the executive director is the ceo of, of the company from that perspective uh, but it's also the acting artistic director and producing director. So I'll have my hands heavily involved in season planning and you know, helping to produce the shows, the individual shows. Uh, so that's, you know, that's a very small nutshell version of it. You know, obviously there's a lot more. I'm sure there's, there's more because you all have a very active youth program with mm -hmm. the Woodland Opera House also. Do you, Talk a little bit about that because I know it it is the season. School is almost out and all of our summer programs will be kicking off very quickly here. So what have you got coming down the pike for that? And then maybe talk about some of your upcoming shows because I know you have some exciting things coming up there too. Yeah, well, for the education programming, fortunately, there's Andrea, is who's the education director, is very good at what she does. So... Um, I have that to rely on, and um, I'm actually going to pitch it over to you. Bet. So, yes, we have a very active education program. Um, I actually started the education program as the education director in 2002, and we have built a program that serves well over 500 students every year. So, And we are also serving the school districts and going into the school and teaching on site in their after school programs. So we are spreading theater, dance, musical theater um, all over the, the Yolo County area, which is really exciting. Um, this summer we have Showbiz Kids, which is a fantastic program. It is 26 years strong. And it is a program that allows every kid who participates to have an equal opportunity on stage. Everybody gets to shine on stage. We're singing a solo if they would like to do one. And they all sing and dance and produce a lovely, a lovely performance. That's our June and July offering for students. We also have ballet classes that happen in the summertime because kids want to keep their skills strong during the summer and then our regular season of uh, classes begins of course when school starts in september so we do have a very active we have about you asked what's what uh the executive director might be doing we also have a staff of about 35 people so we have a lot of instructors we have us you know a production staff we have people that are really making all of this magic happen so um that's that's a big part of the executive director's job as well you know that just kind of really connecting with all of these people collaborating and making um a fantastic staff click and work well together. But upcoming, you asked, what do we have coming up? So Showbiz Kids is our summer theater camp, super fun for the kids. Um, we have The Lightning Thief coming up soon. It opens on June 16th and runs through the 25th. It plays on Friday nights at 7.30, Saturdays and Sundays at two. And it's the Percy Jackson musical. So a lot of young people are familiar with the novels. And it's about the young boy, Percy Jackson, who's 12 years old, and he discovers that he is a half-blood, um, part God and part human. And so it's a fantastic series that the young people are really excited about. And our cast are also youth. This is our young adult performers series. So we have a cast of ages 12, or excuse me, 14 through 24. So it's that high school, college age group that are putting on this show. It's directed by Eric Catalan, a fantastic director and choreographer. I've been able to pop in to see some of the rehearsals, delightful, amazingly talented young people. And I think this is certainly a show that will really thrill the families. Families will enjoy this together. Um, it's a great, exciting uh, adventure story, which is going to be fun to do. And then after that, um, in August, we start our new season. So our season is fiscal, our fiscal year, which is August through um, through June. And so we open with SpongeBob 
um, the musical, which is, if you know, fantastic score. The music is amazing. And we have, we're just about ready to announce the cast. So it's still a secret, but the casting is, is soon to be announced. That show opens August 11th and runs through the 27th. And it kicks off our season, which has a real wide variety of shows for young, you know, old, young at heart, all the people, all the people will enjoy. We have Adam's Family that comes in the fall in October, followed by Andrew Lloyd Webber's School of Rock, the musical. Yeah. We're doing special auditions coming up soon. They will be a virtual audition that allows those actors that need to play instruments because the show requires five actors as for children and then the adult that actually play their instrument, their rock instrument live on stage. So drums, guitars, a keyboard, they will be auditioning early so they can start working the music soon. So the School of Rock is a big undertaking for us. It's very exciting because it's something different for us. We've not done a show like that where we have actor musicians on stage, you know, and our, our pit orchestra will be a part of the stage cast as well. So it should be a really exciting piece. That will be followed after the holidays by um, a, mu uh, excuse me, a comedy that we cannot announce. So it's a hilarious comedy. Okay. We are contracted with this fantastic show, but mum's the word until October. So you'll be seeing that announced in October. Um, fantastic, hilarious piece. And I know it will be a great crowd pleaser. We follow with Disney's Descendants, which will be a great please, uh, a great show for families. Damn Yankees and Peter and the Star Catcher is the show that finishes our season out in June. So there's a little of something for everybody. Um, auditions will be posted on our website, so keep your eyes open. I know there's a lot of actors that tune in to Sarta, so keep your eyes open for our auditions. Um, we'll be auditioning soon for Adam's Family um, and for uh, the School of Rock, and especially for those musicians that are out there, actor musicians um, will be looking for you. And then we have two shows that are specific for young uh, actors, and that's our Rising Stars program, which is um, Matilda Jr. and um, Finding Nemo. So we will have fun shows for the kids to be participating on stage. We really want those kids who've been in our program learning how to sing, dance, and act to have that opportunity on stage. Sure, sure, absolutely. They sound like a wonderful lineup of shows. Several of them, I'm, I'm sitting here going, well, I could go see that. Well, I could go see that, that would be wonderful. And yeah. we will, as, as many of our followers know, whenever they post an audition, we share it back through the Sarda newsletter. So, and, and I will put it on our Tuesday night Twitch show too, telling people, hey, these auditions are happening this week. You better get out there and get your spot um, because they'll they'll be coming soon. So as soon as those arise, we try and get those out there and share them. Thank you, you guys, for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And welcome again, Tom, to the crew. Yeah. And you know what, Angela, enjoy a well-earned rest. Thank I you. I know you're going back to see theater, but you actually won't have to worry about being in charge this time. That's right. I'm, I'm looking forward to being in the audience and participating at the Opera House as a patron and a volunteer and um, and keeping theater, you know, uh, certainly a part of my life. But I'm looking forward to spending a little time with those 13 grandkids. So that's uh, oh, the, my. That's well, the, you will be that's busy. That's fine. That's the joy. That's <laughs> right. That is the joy. <laughs> Well, again, thank you so much, Angela and Tom, for joining us today for this community conversation. Tom, you know you're welcome to come back anytime. You want to share with us oh, something yeah. amazing that's going on. Mm -hmm. Just let me Don't know. We'll come back me. and have another yep. conversation. Um, all our best to you, Angela, as you go forward. Yeah. And thank you to all of you out there who have joined us for this community conversation. Woodland Opera House, they always, always, always put on these amazing programs for everyone from the very, very young to the adults. They cover it all. And we thank you guys for that. So we thank appreciate you. you. Thank you. And we'll say goodbye until our next appreciate community you. conversation. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Wasn't that fun? I love being able to get to find out what's going on from the different theater companies and all the things that they're bringing to the table to share with us. Um, 
they went over uh, again those auditions for School of Rock. So if you are a actor that plays an instrument too, this is why they're starting so early and they're having the virtual um, auditions for that because they have to get everybody ready. This is going to be a new and different thing for them to put this on stage. And uh, they also shared about the Percy Jackson Lightning Thief show that's coming up. So lots of exciting things happening out there. And you know, we're in the greater Sacramento area. Woodland's just outside of town a little ways. It's not that far to go. And it's an amazing theater to go see a production in. Really, there are no bad seats. I've been to this theater many, many times. There are no bad seats in this space. So go, go, go. See, go see theater at the Woodland Opera House. Because as you heard, they've got a nice lineup coming up for their 2023-2024 season. Well, everyone, we've done a lot today. We've had a community conversation and we've gone through some of our other work. So we want to say thank you to the folks out at Woodland Opera House. And again, congratulations, Tom. Welcome to the team as the executive director. And Angela, well-deserved rest to you, my dear. Thank you for holding down the fort for over 23 years, I do believe she's been there. So as you can see, people who are doing community theater have a real passion for community theater. This is why they're out there doing that. This is why they put in the time, the effort, the talent um, to bring you quality theater productions. And they're no different. Each week I let you know that, you know, if you've got something going on at your theater company, please let us know so we can publicize that. We have um, Facebook available, so we get quite a few people who will pop things into our Facebook page. We do share on Instagram also. We will put it on our community calendar, which is on the SARTA website page. There's a form for you to fill out. You can drop all your information in for us so we can share that. All you have to do is go to the shows and auditions section on our website and put in your information for what's coming up at your community theater. And we will share that with everybody in the areas that Sarda reaches out to. Just want to give you another reminder about our summer series of one night events tonight starring, which is going to be God of Carnage by Yasmin Riza. That's coming up on June 11th. You can get your tickets right now for this. It's one night only. Once it's done, it's gone. So if you want to be part of this really fun, really unique event, please get your tickets soon for tonight starring June 11th at 6 p.m. God of Carnage. Um, featuring Deborah Bromley. We are hoping that Deborah has every one of her dreams fulfilled in getting to do this, which was, you know, a role that she requested. And we want to do more of these. So if you are an actor out there and you go, you know, in my career, I wish I could have done this. Talk to us about it. Let us try and help make it happen, okay? All right, everybody, follow us. If you haven't followed us, if you're following here right now, if you're with me on Twitch, click the follow button so you can follow us here. Every Tuesday night, I get together with folks, tell you what's going on in our theater community, give you the latest and greatest information, share all those special events, bring you community conversations. Uh, so we'd like to do that a little bit more and let you know when we're going to go live from Sarda Theaters. Uh, so follow us, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Facebook. Uh, you can at Sarda Theaters on Facebook. And if you want to find out more or ever see some of the ones you're going, wow, I, I didn't know Sarda was doing these Twitch shows. They are all archived on YouTube. We have a YouTube page at Sarda Theaters on YouTube. You can find all of our past um, This Week at the Theaters. You can find our community conversations that we've had, both the ones that are embedded in our uh, This Week at the Theater and the ones that we've had that have been special events. So, you know, go take a look at the YouTube page at Sarda Theaters. We're trying to get the information out there in as many, many, many ways as we possibly can. So follow us, hang out, if you get it on Twitch, you'll get those little notifications on Tuesday just before we go live so you can come and join us. Uh, I hope I'm seeing you here. And if I don't see you here, as I tell you all the time, if you see me out and about, say hello, because I hope to see you at the theater. All right, everyone. Have a great rest of your week. I hope you see some good theater. Bye.